Hi everyone, this is Dr. James Denicola Antonio, author of The Mineral Fix, and today I'm gonna to be talking about the five main minerals that are lost in sweat. So the first mineral of most importance that we lose through sweat is something called chromium. We lose about seven and a half micrograms of chromium per hour of exercise. Now that may not sound like a lot, but the average person is only consuming about 30 micrograms of chromium per day. So from a percentage of dietary intake, we actually lose a lot of chromium through sweat. The other reason why chromium is my number one mineral that is lost in sweat is because the bioavailability of chromium through diet or supplement is so low, it's only 1%. So if we lose seven and a half micrograms of chromium per hour of sweating, essentially we need to consume 750 micrograms in order to replace that. And essentially most people are only consuming again about 30 micrograms from the diet. So if we actually need to take 750 micrograms to replace that loss, that's very clinically significant, which is why I make chromium the first and most important mineral that is lost through sweat. The second most important mineral is salt or sodium and chloride. It's actually made up of two essential minerals. And the reason why that one is number two on my list is because of the amount that we lose per hour of sweating. So typically the average person is going to lose anywhere from a half a teaspoon of salt all the way up to two teaspoons of salt depending how hot it is outside. Now that range is from anywhere from 80 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And we lose more as it gets hotter outside. So that is my second most important mineral that is lost per hour of sweating is salt. The third most important mineral is copper. Copper is important for immune function, it's important for blood sugar control, and it's important and allows us to move iron around the body. Now the average person is gonna lose anywhere from 0.4 milligrams all the way up to 1.5 milligrams of copper per hour of sweating. Typically at 100 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, let's say in a sauna, you're gonna lose upwards of 1.5 milligrams of copper per hour of sweating. Now that also may not sound like a lot, but the average American adult is only consuming 0.9 milligrams of copper per day. So essentially you can lose all of your dietary copper intake for the day in just one hour of sweating. The reason why this is my number third most important mineral loss in sweat is also because the bioavailability of dietary copper is fairly low at only 30 to 50% bioavailable. So that means if you only lose 0.4 milligrams of copper through sweat, you would actually need to consume 0.8 milligrams through the diet to replace that loss back. That is assuming a 50% bioavailability. So you can see how people can quickly become copper deficient if they're sweating a lot. The fourth most important mineral is called selenium. Selenium is important for immune health and cardiovascular health. It helps form our antioxidant enzymes and it helps protect our protein from oxidizing. Now selenium, we typically lose about 40 micrograms per hour of sweating. Now the average person is only consuming about 100 micrograms of selenium. So we're losing about 40% of our total intake of selenium per day every hour that we sweat. Now, selenium is also fairly difficult to get in the diet. Uh, typically, we can get this through Brazil nuts and some pastured eggs and unrefined whole grains, but selenium is fairly difficult to get in the diet, which is why I rank it the number fourth most important mineral lost through sweat. The fifth most important mineral is called iodine. We typically lose about 50 micrograms of iodine per hour of sweating. The average person in the United States is only consuming 100 micrograms. So losing 50 uh, micrograms per hour, they're actually losing half of their whole dietary intake. Now, the reason why I put this as the fifth most important is because luckily iodine is about 100% bioavailable through the diet. But still, if we're losing half of our dietary intake, that's an issue, especially when the recommended dietary allowance is 150 micrograms of iodine per day. If you're looking to take a deeper dive into other minerals that are lost through sweat or the importance of 22 minerals, I highly recommend our most recent book called The Mineral Fix, which has about 5,000 references and it's about 700 pages and it's the ultimate guide to the importance of essential minerals in our diet.